There we go. Hey there, everybody. It's Varun. We're going to finish up with Nagashi Hen today. We're going to do the extras, and then we'll be done. And the extra pretty much is just the short all-cash review session. I'm excited. <laughs> I didn't do this yesterday because yesterday's stream went for an extra half of an hour that I didn't want it to go to. Thank you for enjoying what? Higurashi Wende Kaiwata Nagashi. How did you like the story this time? If you enjoyed it even a little, I'm happy. A little nothing? Not again? It was a huge bad ending again, was it not? It's enough to make me simply furious. I'm furious. Oh, my God. Well, uh, good work, everyone. Uh, that's how it ended, but don't you think the story was kind of like a Meon chapter? I'm extremely satisfied with how big a role I played. <laughs> you, you can't call such a thing a success? Rika and I got killed too, didn't we? None of this concerns Sadako at all, either. Now, now, don't cry. There was a story centered around Michan, so there'll probably be one that's centered around Sadako-chan, too. We'll look forward to it. Sadako would definitely get attacked by a crowd of weirdo bullies and abused to death. Michan, if you joke around too much, you'll make me angry too. Me has a flat chest. Your mind wouldn't understand even if it wanted to be petted. Jesus, ow. Oh, they expanded. Your body is so unjust. <gasps> Hey everyone! Great work! Tomotake Oshisa! Oshisan! <gasps> Sorry, we're late again! <laughs> Tomotake san! Oshisan! Yes, you did a great job as well! Hmm? Where are Takano and Shion chan? They're coming, of course! Thank you for inviting us today! May I sit here? Yes, go right ahead! With all of us here, it's sure to be the best part! Please go easy on me. Then should we get started? Is this everyone? Everyone but Keiichi. Which means my Barakun still doesn't have a portrait. So are we going to read the scripts for the next story immediately? How unfortunate. It doesn't feel right to leave him out. Mio-san, you don't have to worry about that. At times like these, going all out is actually a way of showing consideration. consideration. That's true, isn't it? We're all here for once. Holding a wake would be boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, Keiichi-kun, but we'll be taking things from here. It's decided! Okay, everyone, get the cups. Does anyone not like car carbonated drinks? There's alcohol for the adults, too. <laughs> Nika-chan! What will you have? Cola? Juice? Me. I want what Tomotake is having. Hey! Rikachu, you're not allowed to drink! <gasps> Has everyone got their cups? If we don't make a toast soon, my juice will get warm. Who will lead? Mio? Rena should do it. Okay, Rena, go ahead. Then, oh! Everyone, excellent work! The Watanagashi chapter is now over! Thank you! <laughs> okay, everybody's here. Shall we debate the story again? I think so. Then let's get some honest opinions. Did anyone here have something to say? At honest opinion, was the story this time not an answer chapter? The criminal was Mio-san. The root of all the evil was this Onozaki family. Was that not the conclusion? Oh, I see. I was so sure that Mi-chan wasn't the criminal. Too naive. This is entirely predictable from the previous Onikakushi arc chapter, wasn't it? In fact, it's almost shockingly how predictable it was. You're right. Probably did align with the most of the predictions made by players in the previous scenario. It's like the story went exactly as everyone expected. Then, does that mean the main Higurashi when they cry scenario is pretty much over? So it's a sure thing that the root of everything was Michan's family? I wonder. In fact, I think this all means the theory of the Sonozaki's being guilty party has been disproven. 
Oh, you had the same opinion, Mio-san. Mio-san. I think the same way. Though I still don't believe in curses. At the very least, however, I think the chances of the Sonosaki family being the true criminals have gone down. Huh? Why is that? Didn't Michon confess that she killed everyone? That's right! She killed Rika and me, so what does that mean that she's in the criminal after all? I'm not trying to confuse you or anything. It's just that I think there are a lot of things that don't go along with me on being the one behind everything. If you think about it a little, you'll get it. Huh? I had believed the truth to be more or less in line with the Sonozaki family theory, but I'd love to hear your theory, Mionchan. Then hear me out! Near the end, I confess that I have participated in the past instance, right? I thought something wasn't really right about that, so I guess that's my bias. I mean, think about it. If the incidents of the past were caused by the Sonozaki family, that would be crazy! I mean, wouldn't they all be perfect crimes? They're all attributed to other criminals or simple accidents, after all. Well, that's right. The Sonozaki family is very powerful, and they were acting behind the scenes. Wouldn't pulling off the perfect crimes be child's play for them? That's just it. That's the weird thing. The Sonozaki family had been killing and erasing people so well for the last four years, they didn't even let out a hint that they were behind it, right? But the incident in the fifth year, now that was really cheap. They were killing and erasing people at random. Any idiot could have seen the connection with the Sonozaki family. Now that I think about it, you're right. The incidents in the past were all mysterious, and nobody could tell if they were because of the curse or so just simple crimes. But then, on the fifth year, they suddenly got really violent. I don't understand what you're saying. Rika, do you? She means that if the Sonozaki family were the real criminals, then they would have done a much, much better job than the incident on the fifth year. So, what does that mean? Mionsan wasn't the one who killed Rika and me, but it was the work of the demon who possessed Mionsan? Come now. Just like I thought last time, Mionsan isn't a bad person after all, was she? That's right. Sabiko Chen and I both thought she was doing bad things because she was possessed by something. Then does that mean our theory was right? Well, I've been supporting the curse theory since the last after party, and the story this time makes me all the more convinced it's true. That fact revealed at the end. The information regarding how Mion-san and Takano-san had died days before, despite being witnessed, seems to indeed support that theory. Oh my. I see the cursed believers who seem unconf unconfident last time have grown quite a bit more self-assured. Do any of those who think it was human have any objections? Last time, Nichan and Mika-chan were the ones who thought it was the work of a person. So Makake-san did too, didn't he? So, let's hear what he's got. What you got, then. Mm, you got me there. Can't quite find the right words. One of the pieces of evidence from the curse theory is the mismatching times of death, right? So if I could disprove the theory, it would prove that humans did it, didn't it? Ah, Xion, do you have a good objection? I suppose. I have the same opinion as you, Mion, that if it were human. But it, I don't think the Sonozaki were the main culprits either. If it's okay with you, I'll offer my objections. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Show us what you got! If you say it, it wasn't a curse, then let me hear your evidence. Okay, Xion-chan. That last trick we've been talking about, despite Mion-chan having died the day of the incident from falling from the w into the well, how, do you, how did she appear days later to kill you and Keichikun? Here it is, my Sonozaki sister's conspiracy theory. My simple reason is simple. If Mion's dead by that time, then the only one who could have stabbed Keichikun was me. I disguised myself as Mion and stabbed him. And I went back to my room, pretended to have a tussle with the ghost, and jumped right down and killed myself. So, when you go down to it, Mionchan, in this case, would be the one to take the blame. She would take care of the mare in person, and Xionchan would be made into a mere victim. If she hid herself in the well, the disguised Xionchan could show up when she, was, when she pleased and murdered whoever she wanted, all planned from the start. I get it. Then Mionchan made two mistakes. First was that her corpse was found, and the second was dying when she only planned to hide. That's what I mean. Oh, well now. You're right, there's something logical about that. However, I'm still not convinced. It's too different from the magnificent, perfect crimes in the past. Even if their plan did go, would, even went well, Mion would end up the bad guy, wouldn't she? She would either have to hide the rest of her life or live pretending to be Shion, wouldn't she? But you're too constrained. You can't call that a perfect crime. In other words, whether by dying or disappearing, Mion, me would have to go away. Mika-chan, that's a good thought. 
That means we should consider that Mion Sonozaki leaving the stage was part of their plan. That's why at the end, Mion took the blame for all the incidents in the past. She took responsibility for all of them herself, then left. By doing that, she could cover up the true culprit behind the past incidents, which means that this incident wasn't shabby. Its purpose was to cement all the perfect in past incidents as perfect crimes. I suppose that's what it comes down to. The young leader of the Sonozaki family, who was the biggest suspect, confessed to everything and disappeared. For her, perhaps for the non-Sonozaki's true culprit, there likely would be no more favorable outcome. I don't understand even an inch of your conversation. What do you mean by Mion son taking the blame? Is she not the culprit? Let me put it this way. The true culprit behind the serial freak death incidents was somebody else. Michan gave a fake confession that she caused all the previous incidents to protect that person. Or so everyone's saying. My my, I said this during the story, but it seems we have an incredible detective on our hands. Yes, it would seem a bit persuasive. An incident starting to throw the scent off the true criminal. That's my reasoning. Though if I do go further, I think the true culprit isn't part of the Sonozaki family. Oh, so it's Mionchan disrupting the incident to do further do further protect the mysterious person who pulled up the perfect crumbs four years running then. That's right. The site foreman only appeared in the name in the last story. Pretty suspicious, if you ask me. Amazing. It really does all add up. <laughs> I still think the Sonozaki family and the sisters are culprits, though. An incident caused by the sisters to sever their old feathers to the three families to clear away the past. That's my theory. Clearing away the past. You mean that they placed the blame for the three families' crimes on their final year Mion to put an end to a dark history? And then the two of them left. That's right. <laughs> Yo, it's not a sad part. It's all just characters interacting with each other. That's right. It's making a sad story where, our, where we sisters could finally choose to end it after a lot of worry. <laughs> we went a little too far. Amazing. It really does all add up. <laughs> Wait, what? Looks like Rika-chan had an opinion too. Go ahead, Rika-chan. I have a question for you all. Why did Keiichi need to get stabbed? We already know why that is, Rika. It's obviously because he went into the Forbidden Storehouse without asking. Thinking back on it now, tomotake Kun and Takano-san probably died in the previous story because they stuck in the storehouse, eh? Hmm? <laughs> that really is rather strange indeed. Huh? What is what is that strange? Ah! Kind of son, that's right! Do you think back, please? That's right. In the previous scenario, they were after Keiichi's life because he did, even though he didn't sneak into the ritual storehouse. Uh, <gasps> that's because, yeah, Hinamazawa hates outsiders, right? That's why they tried to kill Keiichi Kuro. That would be strange, though. They should have attacked Keiichi's parents too. In that case, no matter how you look at it, though, his parents never seem to be in much danger. Either this time or the last. Hear that, everybody? Who thinks it's humans doing? Unless you could probably explain the reasons k sans life is threatened, you can't definitely prove the criminal was human, can you? <laughs> Even with the curse period, however, we don't know why marabata son was attacked this time or last time. With a little more, we would have had it. There's still a lot of mysteries remaining. <laughs> They can find some kind of reason for everyone but Keiichi Kun to die. But for some reason, Keiichi Kun's death is always vague. Both this time and last time. He was being targeted regardless of whether he went to the ritual storehouse. That, then, does that not mean he was doing something that got him killed both last time and this time? I see. We'll find something in common about Mayabara Kun's actions between last time and this time. It would be the key to unraveling all the incidents. I skimmed through the stories again, but I think he's going about his life in his own way. Though aside from the part with the storehouses, I don't, didn't spot anything suspicious about his daily lifestyle. Hmm, Keiichi-kun, what did you do both last time and this time? Something that I thought would have got, caused you to be killed. It's best to ask the person himself. 
when you're unsure. Time to call Keiichi while he's working. Oh ho! So while I'm reading the script for the next game, all by myself, you're all talking about me behind my back, huh? I see. Well, that's that. Anyway, Keiichi-kun, you should try asking your own heart. <laughs> Keiichan! So what kind of bad thing did you do when you <laughs> to where that you would get killed? It must surely be all the violent things he does towards me. Squeezing my chest so tightly was surely a crime. Yeah, yeah. Being happy all day, surrounded by girls about his age, is kind of like a crime in the first place. Yeah, <laughs> a grave crime indeed. My son is truly an envious main character, isn't he? Switch out with me once in a while, would you? <laughs> well, with all the per those perks, getting stabbed at the end really isn't much of a price to pay. Well, there you go, Cage Son. Have you remembered the crimes you committed? Ah, both this time and last time. I live a proper and just life and always meet a terrible fate in the end. What does that have to do about ask my own heart? I'm the one who wants to know. This is bullying. How sad, how sad. I'll pet your head next time for you. I wonder if we should go back and read Onikakushi again after reading this one. I'm going to put myself in Mion's shoes and read back over Watsunagashi. Maybe I'll find something different compared to when I read it for Kei-chan's point of view. I always think it was the doing of a demon. All the events and tricks can be explained with a demon. It's kind of like plasma. What did you, the readers, think about it? We'd certainly like to hear your thoughts and opinions. Though, through the mail? Is there an address? Can they mail something? <sighs> No, 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 we can't mail anything, but I already know the truth of the matter. I even told Mike a little bit about the truth of the matter as well. I kind of just hinted at the fact that, you know, they actually made a vague mention of it, too. As to what caused the incidents in the first place. This is a very short stream. I really just wanted to get through the, uh, the extras. And, like, look at all these tips. Three pages of tips. All the scrap with things. Mion, <laughs> Mion, Shion, <laughs> fucking Shion, <laughs> troublemaker. <laughs> but because I've watched all of Higurashi, I know all the secrets. I don't know certain like specific things that were in the visual novel, like you know I didn't know about Keiichi's internal in monologues and all that stuff, and I didn't know about certain other things. I should have done this yesterday because it was only like 12 minutes long. <laughs> so, Mayara, what theory are you going on? Have you already watched all of Higurashi? If you're watching all of Higurashi, then don't spoil anything because the chat can always be reread when people would look over the stream again. But what do you think, Mayara? <laughs> what do you think it was? I appreciate that the settings stay the same throughout the whole thing. And also, look at all these chapter pieces. Look at all these chapters. Chapters. You're not a Higurashi fan. Okay. So, based on that all-cast review that you saw, what do you think? <laughs> you haven't watched the last view? Like, okay, so that means, have you watched the second season, or have you only watched the first season? So that's important to consider. So I'm going to leave it on the, on the cicadas crying. The last few is kind of vague. And also, does that mean you watch the OVAs? Oh, you mean my streams! Oh, that's fair! Well, okay, then from the Onikakushi arc, uh, then, uh, what, what about that one? You say demon right now. Okay. Alright. That's fair. That's fair to say it was a demon. Alright. Since I already know the truth, I can't put it in my two cents. I already know, because I already know about the answer arcs and, you know, who the real culprit is. I think we've got every character introduced except for Satoshi now. Because we haven't actually had anything directly with Satoshi, so I haven't gotten a voice. I haven't gotten a voice Satoshi. He does get voiced in one of the answer arcs, and I think he gets voiced in the next arc. 
because the next arc is Sadako related. So that'll be fun. And then the fourth arc for the main question arcs, the fourth arc actually doesn't deal with Keiichi, so that'll be fun. That one, I won't have to be Keiichi Mabaru. Mabaru. Mabaru! <laughs> so I'm going to call that stream done, because it was only 20 minutes. And it was nice to throw the question of, do you think it's a demon? Do you think it's people? Do you think it's a curse? Who knows anymore? It's Higurashi! It's all just questions! So have a good night! May the Higurashi send you to sleep.